It's food o'clock on Relo Craft Beer. Our Bombay Mix. The best snacks to go with beer. That's the question. I've had a couple of beers, I've had a couple of pints, and now I'm ready to eat something. And I often do this in my life, in the evenings, a couple of beers, then you start looking around the kitchen for, for things to eat, scrambling through the cupboards. You don't want to cook nothing, you just want to snack on something easy. I think Bombay Mix are right up there with some of the best. Beer snacks out there. Okay, so we have it's a mix of spicy noodles, lentils, peanuts, and chickpeas. And traditionally, they're really spicy, and you need that spice to cut through the beer. I think that was a lentil. Oh, here we go. Some peanuts. Oh, they're lovely and hot. You just need some... After a few beers, you just need some substance. Just something fatty and big enough to soak up the couple of beers. Clock on the microwave. Ignore that, it's wrong. Kids were playing around with it earlier on. And I can't work out how to reset it. So if you're thinking he's had a couple of beers in the morning, now he's eating Bombay Mix. Not true, promise you. Oh. So tonight, I've had a pale ale. I've had a Thornbridge Joy Pear. And I've had a Guinness West Indies Porter. And I just, yeah. By the way, these were a pound. I went in the pound shop, Poundland. These were a quid. 400 grams. 400 grams of quality snacking material for one pound. Yeah, these gotta be lentils. Finally come across a chickpea. There we go. This will go well with a couple of, this is traditionally kind of Indian snacking food. Of course, Bombay. But I reckon if you wanted to keep it Indian themed, you could get a couple of bottles of Kingfisher Lager, cool them down in the fridge and then get the Bombay mix out, have a few beers. That would be a proper Indian night. Unless you wanted to splash out on an Indian takeaway, which Kingfisher is perfect with. As is the case with most of these foods, it is a nice spice, there is a burn, but it's only when you get down to the bottom of the bag that you really get into that spice, that nitty gritty hot spice. Because, of course, all the flavourings over time, they've only got to move around a bit in transport on a lorry or a wagon, and all the flavour moves its way down to the bottom of the bag. The little crumbs at the bottom they're going to be potent because already there's a little bit of spice burn in the throat. Perfect, perfect. Mopping up the beer food. 
Let's rate them. Bombay mix from the pound shop. 400 grams of crisps. Remarkable price. 9 out of 10. 9 out of 10 from Real Craft Beer. Please put your comments in the comments box. Subscribe to our daily beer and food reviews. Give us a big fat thumbs up. Boom! Cheers!